this is the solution to quiz one. Okay. So, the first thing to do is to uh, distribute the exponent into the numerator. So, distributing that in, that would be 2 squared and then x cubed squared and then y to negative 2 squared over 6x squared y. So this 2 went to each individual factor. So now we have iterated exponents. Well, 2 squared, that's just 4. And then x to 3 to 2, those exponents are said to be iterated. And you combine iterated exponents with multiplication. So that would be x to 6 and y to negative 2 to 2. So the product of negative 2 and 2 is negative 4, so y to negative 4, and then 6, x squared, y. <coughs> so now, one of the instructions is use only positive exponents. So, 4x to 6, and then to make this positive, we can move it down to the denominator, so then that would be 6 x squared y y to 4. So now all of the exponents are uh, positive, but the expression can be simplified. So as for the constants, 4 and 6, we can uh, make a 2 up here. x to 6 over x squared, well, we have the same basis, so we'll subtract the exponents. So that would be 4 in the numerator, so x to 4. And then down here, from canceling with that 4, there's a 3. And then y times y to 4 is y to 5. <coughs> Question 2. Evaluate this expression. <coughs> Well, by definition, this expression means, it means negative 125, the cube root of that, and then square the result. So the cube root of 125 is negative 5. Because five, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25 times another negative 5 would be negative 125. Okay, and then negative 5 squared, that's 25. Assume all variables are positive. Okay. <coughs> so then carrying this out, that would be cube root of negative 64 distributing this radical to the various factors times the cube root of x to 18. Well, the cube root of negative 64, that's negative 4. And then the cube root of x to 18, well, cube root is equivalent to fractional exponent 1 third. So you could think of it like x to 18 to 1 third, and then this 1 third could come in. So with, with product, so that would be x uh, times x to 18 times a third is 6. And then this. So a bunch of distributions here. So that would be equal to 10 uh, minus 5m and then plus 8m plus 6 and then plus another 6. Uh, so combining things together, 
that 6 plus 6 is 12 plus another 10 is 22 and then negative 5m plus 8m is 3m <clears throat> and just to be clear all the constants combined and all of the M's combined. And that's the answer.